Hello guys, this is D. Brandon Thomas back again with a quick unboxing of what you can see here. I just upgraded to the PS4 Pro, one terabyte, jet black. Um, basically upgraded from the original uh, launch edition of the PS4 500 gig. If you remember on my channel, I uploaded that three years ago. So this is a very welcome upgrade. Picked this up, paid off the rest of my layaway today. And going to go ahead and unbox this before we go any further. Let's take a look at the con the uh, outside of the box Pretty self-explanatory as I hit the tripod On the back here we do have some advertisements for games that do take advantage of the uh, PS4's capabilities As many of you know the PS4 Pro is 4k enabled and it's a 4k gaming console. So for example Infinite Warfare Watch Dogs 2 and upcoming titles such as Horizon Zero Dawn and Mass Effect Andromeda, which I'm highly looking forward to, will take advantage of the uh, 4K capabilities of the PS4 Pro. Now, this is the one terabyte model, as you can see here, but I do have a two terabyte uh, Seagate hard drive here uh, that I took out of my old PlayStation 4 and I will be placing into the new one. And yes, you can swap out the hard drives on the PS4 Pro basically almost similar pretty much just not a difficult process uh, very similar to what we had to do in the original PlayStation 4 uh, of course here's a list of contents of course you have the PS4 Pro console the new DualShock 4 with the mono headset uh, 4k HDMI cable with the AC power cord which is completely different from the original this is from basically very similar to what you'll find let's say for example if you're plugging in uh, your desktop uh, PC for example the power cords for that so if you try to use your original power cord for your PS4 it will not work and of course we have our USB charge and sync cable as well as printed materials so now all the boring stuff is out of the way let's go ahead and unbox this here and get a closer look A box within a box so let's go ahead and just slide it out quickly put it all to the side there of course we have PS4 Pro in this striking white box flap is open go ahead and open that up and then of course we do have our documentation which I will not be reading so you know how to set up a PlayStation 4 absolutely unnecessary all right let's move over to the side here we do have another compartment let's lay that down right fast we will have our cables and accessories of that nature there of course is the mono headset usb charge sync cable and the new ac power cord then on the opposite side we do have the brand new ps4 pro dualshock 4 controller as far as the look and design completely the same but on the actual light bar we do have the light bar as well and we do have it integrated also into the uh, touchpad as well so it's a very standard black controller as we've seen countless times before. There, of course, is our HDMI cable. Now to the piece de resistance. Here we have our PS4 Pro. I was not sure whether or not I should get this, but Seeing as I have a new 4K TV, I had to jump on it. So let's take a quick look and make sure I don't track a whole lot of fingerprints. Everything is completely matte with the uh, heavily embossed PS4 logo in the center, which I do love. On the front here, we do have our particular loading trays at the top. You can barely see it. We do have our slot loading Blu-ray DVD drive. Then on the underneath that, on the left hand side here, you do see a power button as well as the eject. And we do have two 
USB 3.1 supports on the front. And as we move over to the back to our input output, we do have, of course, the charge, the uh, AC power input, HDMI slot for the auxiliaries, AKA the PS4 camera, optical out. And we do also have another USB 3.1 slot as well as the ethernet. And that here, you see the blue sticker, that is where the hard drive is encased at. And if you want to do an upgrade to your PS4 Pro, once you get a new newer hard drive like I did, uh, basically you just remove that and it should be a simple process. You can probably see it here very faintly or do you see a large screw that needs to be removed before you can get access to the system. So, all right guys, that pretty much does it for the unboxing here. As you can see, we do have our PS4 Pro, the new DualShock 4, with the mono headset, charge sync cable, AC power cord, HDMI cable, and the printed materials are just somewhere underneath all that mess. Anyway, guys, this is a quick unboxing of the PS4 Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely looking forward to taking advantage of this particular gaming console and see what it has to offer. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.